Gaming News. Game Pass Wave 2, May up, 2024. Everybody? Here and in today's gaming news, Let's see the rest it. of May is packed for Xbox Game Pass. Square Enix admits those three games you thought were probably disappointments were actually disappointments. Oof. And the new live action Tomb Raider series is a go for Prime. Live action this Tomb Raider. What the hell? Who are they going to use as the actress for Lara Croft? No, no, no. I missed it. I missed it. I ruined it. Microsoft has announced the second wave of Xbox second wave. May editions, headlined by Ninja Theory's Hellblade 2. First up, on May 15th is puzzle adventure game Chance of Sinar. Then on May 16th, that looks all right. Sports NHL 24 will be available with Xbox Cloud Gaming. I won't play that. Play. Also via EA Play and on May 16th, single player first person magic shooter Immortals of Avium hits. Oh, possible. look at that. An eight out of Immortals. Said, Immortals of Avium is an impressively complex play it. first person shooter. Do you think you are a Greek god or the descendant of Heracles? Combat. That's spectacular to watch. Probably the this latter. The big release is undoubtedly Hellblade 2. Which Hellblade 2, can't wait to play it, baby. This one has been a long time coming. It was revealed back in 2019. Can't wait. It's also the next big Xbox exclusive. May 23rd sees Bright Rock Games. Galacticare as another day one Game Pass launch. According to the official I don't know blurb, that one. you are the director of Galacticare, an interstellar that healthcare company, good. and quasi-voluntary savior of the galaxy for cash. Build hospitals and recruit staff one. to satisfy the whims of various alien species and cure their bizarre illnesses. Also Hell on yeah. May 23rd, Haunty hits Game Pass as a day one release. You play a brave yet naive little ghost and set off on a quest. Possess I don't know about that one. And I mean, it looks good. captivating adventure reads the official blurb. Moving on, May 28th sees Moving Out 2 on Game Pass. We called it a colorful and chaotic co-op sequel and gave it an 8 out of 10. Action puzzle game Humanity hits Game Humanity, Pass. Humanity, that one looks pretty decent. We called decent. this one a beautiful, modern reimagining of Lemmings and gave it a 9 out of 10. I saw the I trailer for that one. one. With my four-year-old son on PS5 and he loves it. Also on May 30th is another big hitter, Lords of the Fallen. Lords of the Fallen, oh, coming to Game Pass. An RPG that arrived yeah. with a critical and commercial acclaim. We gave it an 8 out of 10 and said it's an awesome Souls-like with a fantastic new reality. Can't wait. Lords of the Mid. Big month for Listen, Game Pass, then. it on started June, bad, but Xbox maybe they'll update it, you know what I mean? Where we'll get looks at what games are coming They're later. not coming back that bad. Moving on, It'll be Square fine. Enix has admitted Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Final Fantasy XVI, and Foam Stars all failed to Square meet Enix finally, financial call finally admitting Square Enix that their sales are not doing well. Told analysts that sales for all three games failed to hit expected revenue and profit, resulting in an overall hit to operating income for the business. The company yep. announced launch sales of $3 million for Final Fantasy XVI after it went on sale. Well, we knew it was going year, to. But it has yet to announce a follow-up figure. While this initial moment to yeah, but it's a remake, sales have since and it's explode. a PlayStation it's a exclusive worst story for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Initial momentum failed to reach Square Enix's target. You can't expect to hit Square Enix's target, target numbers when you exclusively game, put one game on Final one Fantasy system. Remix. As for Foam Stars, Square Enix exactly. announced a sales figure for this live service Splatoon like game. On the bright side, Square Enix said it is confident Final Fantasy 16 can achieve its goal over the original eight. Foam Stars I knew wasn't going to go and anywhere. According to Bloomberg reporter Takashi Mochizuki, Square Enix said sales True. of Rebirth and Foam Stars aren't necessarily bad. This week, Square Enix Only Descendant Ninja of is a dinosaur. Profits. Final Fantasy 16 okay. and 7 Rebirth both launched as PlayStation 5 exclusives, but Square Enix said it will now, quote, aggressively pursue a multi platform strategy that includes Nintendo platforms, PlayStation, Xbox, and PCs. Overall, it's a tough time for Square Enix, which had yeah, already endured 141 million in what it called content abandonment losses. Square Enix did not name the canceled or rescoped in development titles. It has, however, made a number of layoffs across its Western business amid extensive restructuring. All right, what else we got? Today, Amazon oh, yeah. confirmed its Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider series, series for Prime Video. For Amazon Prime. Star Phoebe Waller-Bridge in place as writer and executive Phoebe producer. Waller -Bridge. Amazon, which is producing the show alongside who is that? Embracer owned Tomb Raider developer Crystal Dynamics, did not mention a release window or who would play Lara Croft. Phoebe Waller-Bridge said, If I could tell my teenage self this was happening, I think she'd explode. Tomb Raider has been a huge part of my life, and I feel incredibly privileged to be bringing it well, to Well, you know, we got to look up what she looks like. Lara Croft means a lot to me, as she does to many, and I can't wait to go on this adventure, bats and all. Last year, Phoebe Waller-Bridge said she hoped to develop something dangerous and exciting with the Tomb Raider TV show. She said, No, There's room no I don't think anybody really would. Quite dangerous. And if I can do something dangerous and exciting with Tomb Raider, I already have an audience of people who love Lara and hopefully will continue to. And that is a very unusual position to be in. It's the old Trojan horse. Hmm, not sure I like the sound of that. 
Anyway, Waller-Bridge is no stranger to the action-adventure genre. Thanks to scripting James Bond film No Time to Die. And oh, she's the script the writer. The Dial of Destiny. The Tomb Raider yeah, announcement follows Amazon's hugely successful Fallout TV show, which was created in close collaboration with Fallout developer Bethesda. Meanwhile, Crystal Dynamics and Amazon Games are working together to develop and publish a new Tomb Raider game. The as yet untitled Probably reboot is described as a single-player, narrative-driven action-adventure that is an all-new next chapter to Lara Croft's legendary oh, make it another the game, huh? franchise. A release nice. window is yet to be announced. Okay. Well, Tomb Raider games Tomb have been good lately, so 14th. not too upset with that. On the news, quick reminder that tickets for IGN Live are on sale now. IGN and Live? an event happening here in Los Angeles June 7th through the 9th. Along with live tapings of all your favorite IGN shows, we've also got panels with the director and cast of the Borderlands movie, new game reveals, hands-on time with unreleased games, and so much more. Grab tickets at IGN.com slash live. Grab your tickets. And for all your video game news, stay tuned IGN. Thank you, Damon. That was your news. Everything looks good and everything seems to be in order. I can appreciate everything they talked about today, obviously. The announced games for Xbox Game Pass PC, super happy about that. We have the Laura Croft movie, that should be nice. And then, of course, Capcom. Square Enix had to say that they were, you know, not doing so hot.